Good afternoon, this is The Ugly Truth, working once again with WeAreChangeToronto.org. I'm down at uh, Dundas subway station, about to uh, exit out to Dundas Square yet again to cover another event. This time it's a uh, usage-based uh, internet billing, or UBB as it's known. Uh, this has been covered by StopTheMeter.ca, which has uh, started an online petition. It's got about 350,000 signatures right now. Uh, people are definitely upset about this, so we'll go out and see how many people are demonstrating here today uh, to uh, petition the CRTC of Canada to tell them we don't want to pay an extra dollar or more for each extra gigabyte of data that we download or upload to the internet. All right, let's see what's going on. Well, as you can see here, things are starting to get underway. We're still waiting for a few more people. People are starting to show up. We'll see how large of a crowd we get here today. There's Mr. Jack Layton himself. So, uh, can I get everybody to give uh, Mr. Layton a round of applause, please? So, uh, just so everyone is aware, uh, Jack Layton and the NDPs are uh, paying for everything here today. They're paying for the ampl amplification, the rental of the stage, insurance, the whole bit. So, really, thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart, Jack Layton, for making this happen and making it uh, what it is. The internet belongs to you. People have the right to speak. It is such an exciting time for democracy in the world today because the tools are now available for people to be in touch with each other directly about their ideas for the future, about how we can make change, about how we can overcome injustice and inequality. We can use the internet for all these reasons, except there are some companies and sometimes some governments that see an opportunity to simply squeeze the consumer, squeeze the citizen, and shut down the access, which is fundamental to the kind of democracy that we need to defend. Now let's understand, here in Canada, we don't want all kinds of foreign companies to come in and take over our communications. We want to keep our Canadian sovereignty, but that means that those companies that are here that are Canadian have an obligation not to rip people off. And they have an obligation to make sure that access to the internet is something that's available for all, not just those with the biggest checkbooks. When you look at what's happening in Egypt or in Tunisia or some of these other phenomena that have taken place on the internet, they've often started because people without resources, but people with ideas, got in touch with one another. That's how they started. And that's what we've got to protect. Now it costs about a cent to provide, if that, to provide the delivery of a megabyte. So why should people have to pay four bucks? Why should people have to pay four bucks for something that costs a cent or even less? Folks, I want to congratulate the grassroots movement that has pulled together this protest here today in a matter of hours to be able to put pressure on the government. But frankly, we don't entirely trust them each day of the week, to be honest about it. Let's be blunt about it. So we've got to keep the pressure on. And there's some other members of Parliament here. They'll be introduced. I'm very happy that they're here. And I'll tell you one thing. Charlie Angus, who's our champion on these issues in our caucus, he wanted me to know that we will not rest until there is fairness for all citizens using the Internet and that the ripoff has to stop. The Internet belongs to us, and let's make that crystal clear to those who simply want to pir pirateer from the whole operation. Thank you for coming out today. And the president of the NDP, Peggy Nash, is also here today.
And Andrew Cash, our candidate in Davenport. I better stop. Sorry. Jack, before we... Uh... Hey, Jack, before you uh, step up the stage, we, would just... we just wanted to know if you would uh, officially sign the Stop the Meter petition here. <laughs> it says, Stop the Meter. And I am very happy and honored to sign the top of this page. I thought it would all be done electronically. <laughs> this, is a, this is the old-fashioned... You know I'm old-fashioned. I, I used to have a fax machine, even. Did we get uh, Olivia and the president of the NBC or uh, NDP to sign as well? No? All right, all right. We have, uh, we have one more speaker coming out today. Uh, Dan McTagg, come on up here, please. And uh, can I get your uh, petition signature as well? It's one of 400,000 and growing every day. My name is Dan McTague. I'm the Liberal Party critic for Consumer Affairs and friends with all of you here and each and every one of you. Yeah. This is a mega ripoff. Jack, it's a gigabyte. And it is a mega ripoff. <laughs> and I can tell you, this giga tax must come to an end now. Yeah. Our party has called for this. I called for this in the House of Commons with my leader, Michael Ignatieff, on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Don't just think about overturning this decision. Do it. The Conservatives have the power to do that. Not 60 days, not 30 days, not some point down the road when they decide to tinker once again. Now. So you have to ask the question, Mr. Clement, next time you want to tweet, tweet that you're going to do the right thing and respond to what is fair and stop this giga gouge. I'm going to glad to sign this on behalf of the 78 members of my caucus, the Liberal Party, but on behalf of all Canadians. Now I thought I saw it all when I saw monopolies in the oil industry. And every day a number of you, not 400,000, but 40,000 to 50,000, consult what the price is going to be the next day because it is a monopoly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's nothing compared to what we are seeing in this industry. We have allowed our tax money, our building of infrastructure, and great policies to take infrastructure and communications and turn it into something that is a money maker for a handful of individuals at the expense of our freedoms, at the expense of our democracy, at the expense of telecommunications and an internet that is free for all. It's not the Canadian Radio and Telecommunications Commission. It has now become known as what it's been for some years and since 2006 when the Conservatives made a policy of saying no more competition, the CRTC now stands fully for consumers rarely taken into consideration. That too must come to an end. Thanks everybody, thanks organizers. My party, my friends, all Canadians, my members, uh, my friends in Pickering, Scarborough East are all with you. Jack, all my colleagues here, well done. But the job is not done until Mr. Clement and Mr. Harper do the right thing. They've done it before. Don't just think about it. Overturn it. Overturn it now. Thanks, everybody. Uh, not only is the recent decision bad. Last spring, very quietly, they end in net neutrality. What does it mean? It means that they allow Bell and Tellers and Rogers to put a cap on our usage, which means that the majority of the people here are already having to pay more when they use more. So we want the cap to be lifted. And we're not going to stop until all usage-based billing also stop. So thank you for being here. Hi folks, I'm Peggy Nam and I'm the candidate for the NDP in Parkdale High Park. And I'm here today with, uh, with my colleagues, including Marc Laferriere, who's the NDP candidate in Brant. And if you don't follow his tweets, he's uh, very active, as am I, as are all of us. And, you know, something that I think we have learned in following the outburst of democracy in Egypt, especially when the internet was shut down by the dictatorship, and people were saying that the internet, is, in fact, in our 21st century, is a basic human right. It is how, it is how we communicate. It is how we express our democracy. And we will increasingly express our democracy through the internet. And therefore, we want to make sure we don't have user-based billing that will put limits on our democracy. We don't want it. 
into the large carriers or the small. So, Tony Clement, we saw your tweet. We want is a decision by the CRTC that says no user-based billing. Tweets are not enough, unfortunately. <laughs> we want no user-based billing and we stand together with you on that. And I want to do a shout out again to Charlie Angus, our digital critic, who has been in the forefront, front and center, in fighting this issue, fighting against internet uh, throttling, fighting for digital democracy. So we are with you and we will win. Thank you. I'm Andrew Cash. I'm a longtime singer-songwriter in this city, and I'm I'm also the federal NDP candidate for Davenport. And, and, and you know, we we also need to remember that not only is this a, a crucial issue for consumers, it's also a big issue for innovation and small business. Right? Anyone who works in the arts and culture sector knows that you need access. You need fair access uh, to to the internet and you don't need uh, choking, you don't need uh, your, your, your usage throttled by the big, uh, the big boys, by Rogers and Bell. So this is a big important issue for consumers, it's also a big issue for innovators and small business, that's why this is so important and thank you for coming out today. Yeah. My name is Mark LaFerrier and I come from Brant Riding. Wow, I come from Brant Riding and thank you Toronto for having us. Uh, about two weeks ago, we had Charlie Angus down in Brantford, Ontario at the Personal Computer Museum. And when we were there, we had a virtual town hall. This Monday, if you follow any of us on Twitter, you're going to see that we're having a version of that on Twitter. We'd like you to join us. We'd like you to send a voice to the people in Ottawa who need to hear it. Now, this is a big city, but this isn't just a big city issue. Where I come from in Brant, we have a rural community, we have an on-reserve community, and internet access, fair, open, and affordable internet access for them is just as important as it is in our metropolises, our metropolitan areas, I should say. So remember that. This is an all-Canada issue. And thank you so much for being on the front line. Right. Stop the mayor, indeed. All right, we're going to be here until about 2.30, guys, at which point we need to start cleaning up and packing up. So uh, I appreciate everybody be being here, and I appreciate everybody uh, staying. Uh, and sign the petition, everybody. Tell your friends. Spread it on Facebook, Twitter, everybody. Thank you. So we've heard from uh, several members of Parliament. So you've heard their message. It's time to take action. Nobody wants usage-based internet billing. Sign the petition at openmeter.ca if you haven't already. Pass it around. Call your MP. Tell your member of parliament that we don't want this and to overturn the CRTC's decision now. Thank you. Yeah, well, we just. So, yet once again, uh, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please. Uh, support the movement. Check out our uh, site at uh, www.wearechangetoronto.org. Currently the online petition is at about 400,000 uh, signatures now. I had previously said uh, 350,000. Internet is something that we use every day to communicate. Uh, it's become our lifeline to the outside world. And uh, it's very important to freedom of speech also to the alternative media people like myself. So again, stopthemeter.ca, sign the petition. Stop usage-based internet billing. It's unconstitutional, it's unfair, it will limit the uh, ability of people to access information from around the world and to uh, share information around the world. And it will limit communication, it will limit freedom of speech, it has no place in a democracy. So stand up for freedom, freedom of expression, freedom of speech. Bell, Rogers and Shaw are also uh, cable television providers. And a new phenomenon on the internet is uh, services like Netflix, which allow people to uh, download movies and television programs right to their computer. So uh, because of the uh, skyrocketing and unfair cable TV prices, which have become uncompetitive and services declined uh, greatly, People are now uh, switching 
such as myself, uh, they're canceling their cable and they're watching more uh, content online. So this could be another major motiv motivating factor behind these fees is to shut down uh, companies like Netflix and their other competitors that offer a, a much more affordable service. Bell Rogers Shaw, if you want to keep your ta cable TV customers, stop the unjust rising prices of your services, improve your service because it's been declining greatly, you've outsourced uh, most of your service people, they're no longer in Canada, you've outsourced to other countries in the world, so someone in Canada is having a problem, has to call someone halfway across the world who doesn't isn't aware of the problems we're having here or doesn't understand them because they don't even you know have an opportunity to just to subscribe to this service they're they're completely outside so again I thank you for uh, joining us today check it out we are change toronto.org I am the ugly truth Holding me